Quinn Sean, can you just break down what made you want to, Lane was talking about, it was more impressive that you ended up staying in Oxford at, at Ole Miss after the season. Can you just talk about what made you want to do that? Yeah, you know, I love Oxford. Uh, I love the people, most definitely my teammate, the coaches, and I'm just where my feet are, and I just love this this community. So I wouldn't be nowhere else. Just joining this team last season, you know, especially after the portal hall that this team brought through and then bringing in running backs like Zach Evans and, you know, this is Bentley, just you, you kind of coming in as a freshman, was that just kind of an additional chip on your shoulder to just say, you know, hey, like, you know, I'm, you know, I you perform, you know, to that level as well? Yeah, definitely. Uh, coming in, learning from Zach and a lot of the older guys like him and Ulysses, uh, coming in with a chip on my shoulder out of high school, you know, just working hard as I can and just doing what I can for the team. We've asked Lane this a lot over the last year or so, but for you, uh, for him being in the bleachers that night at that game that kind of everybody talks about at the championship game, what, once you realized he was there and kind of was one of the only ones there watching, what did that mean to you? And what does that speak to y'all's relationship? Uh, it meant a lot, you know, Coach Kiffin and Coach uh, Smith recruited me throughout my whole high school career. And just for them to show up, it, it really shows that they, they got, gave their time for me and just to be there. Were you surprised at all with, with how quickly you found success last year in, in, in the role that you played? Um, I wasn't. I knew that coming into this year, well, last year, um, coming out working hard, giving my all, and just enjoying the moment with my teammates and having their bag as much as they have mine, I knew it would pay off. Lane has referenced people trying to get you into the portal and getting you to leave. Uh, not asking for specifics, but how many schools went through family members or high school coaches or whatever trying to get information to you? Um, you know, just I didn't pay attention to any of those things. I just focused on football and where my head is, where my teammates, my coaches, and just focus on what matter and winning games. Was that difficult for you? No, it wasn't difficult. I guess in this era of, you know, NIL and college football and, you know, obviously you kind of getting, you know, what you were worth, you know, at season's end, just going into this season, I know the competitiveness speaks for itself, but is there any kind of additional pressure to perform or outperform last year? No, nah, no pressure at all. Uh, I know what my role is to this team. Uh, I know if I come in, work hard, just like I did last year and just get better at, at a lot of more things that uh, I could fix, you know, it's no pressure. First year in the SEC, was there a point in last season where you maybe felt yourself comfortable uh, or maybe the speed of the game would slow down or you had kind of felt comfortable with that or is that something you're still trying to adapt and learn heading into uh, year two? Yeah, it was definitely some moments that uh, I felt comfortable, especially like some of the first SEC games, getting used to the defenses and stuff. But it's a lot of things that I left out and a lot of things I didn't know that I can improve on. So this year is going to be better. Earlier, you were talking about, you know, Kevin Smith, you know, and your recruiting and all that. Just having a former NFL running back just as a running backs coach and, you know, coaching you just uh, just how, I guess, how good is that to know that, like, there's someone who has, you know, played at the highest level, you know, trying you, trying to coach you to get to that level? It's great, you know, having people like Coach Smith around. Uh, has a lot of experience. He's been to the top of the top. Uh, gives a lot of great advice on and off the field. And um, he just helps me get better every single day and pushes me to be the best that I can be. Lane referenced a run of yours late in the LSU game when the game was out of hand. They, you guys weren't going to win. You weren't going to come back. You made a long run, juked somebody out, ran over somebody. Do you remember that run? I do. What, do, what was it? What is it about you that gives you that kind of drive? Uh, just who I am. It's just no matter what it is, I'm just very competitive. And whatever I do, I want to be the best at and. It doesn't matter what the clock says or what the score says. I'm going to give you my all. I guess staying on the topic of games from last season, you know, when you rushed for over 200 yards against Texas A&M on your birthday in a game that was, you know, to Lane was, you know, very personal because of things off the field. But just uh, just kind of take me through just that, that game and just what made that so special. Uh, that game, I think that was after we played LSU. Uh, coming into that game, we had a bigger game plan. Zach was back, so – we could, you know, come in and, and alternate more. Um, but the game plan was really that simple. We we're going to run the ball and just, you know, it started working. So we just kept going. You've seen your teammate Jackson Dart already win one quarterback battle last year. As he's going through this this spring, trying to win another, how have you kind of seen him grow and what's kind of your relationship with him? 
more. Me and Jackson have a great relationship off the field and on the field. Um, he's a great person. He's a great quarterback, obviously. Um, he's gotten way better this year at, at what he does. I feel like also just being a leader as well. And, you know, I think that this year he'll be even more better. Hey, Quinn John. Uh, good to talk to you. Um, I'm curious, you know, you, you had some games where you had to carry the entire load just with, with injuries to Zach and Ulysses. And, you know, do you feel like with how many snaps this offense tends to generate, I, could, you, could you do that for a whole season? I, what, what would your, I guess, do you feel like your body could handle that? Wherever it takes to win. But Ulysses had that injury last year, back this year, healthy. What have you seen from him in spring that, that's kind of maybe can help fill that, that depth in y'all's room? Uh, you know, Ulysses coming back this year, uh, you know, he had an injury last year. So I think he's, he's coming back more with a chip on his shoulder. He doesn't want to miss anything. So I think that he's working hard. Uh, the rest of the room is working hard as well. So I think everybody's in the room just bought in to what Coach Smith message is and just everybody wants to be great. I know you talked about that that bleachers night that he kind of posted, but going back to your recruiting of uh, of coming here, what kind of went into that? Because you know a lot of a lot of teams were were on you, talented back. You know, just the relationship, the relationship I had with Coach Kevin Smith and Coach Lane um, Kiffin. You know, um, out of high school, they were great people. Um, showed me a lot about on and off the field and just relationship that we built. Um, I don't think that I would have found that anywhere else. And. Uh, do you think that they kind of recruited you harder than in all the other schools? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say they recruited me harder. Um, I think they just were more genuine than a lot of more other schools. And just throughout the process, they were more consistent. Over the past couple of weeks, we've asked you know, a number of players here, just considering how you know last season started with 7-0 and and then obviously the way that it ended last year, going on just that skid to end the year, just – you know, just going into this spring, just how much of that is kind of in the back of y'all's head and just trying to, you know, just not just start off on the right foot next year, but to just finish strong? Definitely. Uh, we were 7-0 and at one point last year coming in, uh, to the season. And then when we lost to LSU, it kind of it kind of took a turn. So I think this year with a lot of talent that we have and everybody's just bought in, I think we could go far. We talk about that turn. Was it anything kind of specific or – Mm, not really. I would just say, you know, just really the loss that we had and just trying to bounce back uh, last season. But this year, like I say, everybody's just bought in. Everybody wants to win. Is that good? The last question. Quinshawn, what, what would it take for you to consider? I know it's only the spring, but what would it take for next season to be considered a successful year for you and the team? Um, I wouldn't say personal records or anything like that. You know, I came to Ole Miss to win. I came to Ole Miss to be the best I can be and just do what I do and play my role for this team. Thanks, guys. Thanks.